the Jacksonville Business Connections page. You know, you're welcome to share it too. I don't see it just yet. Uh, yeah, I see it. Yep, there it is. I see it. Okay, let me share it a couple spots. Maybe some people will join. Okay. So I think there's a couple of people on. Okay. So I'm Melissa with Jacksonville Business Connections, and we're continuing our live interview interviews that we've been doing the, I'd say about a week and a half now, and we're really enjoying meeting new businesses in and around North Florida, um, and sharing that with our followers and. Um, our local groups and Facebook pages. And then also we downloaded and put it on YouTube and our Jacksonville Business Connections directory. So we're getting the word out there. And today I have with me Derek Richardson. He is a local real estate agent and entrepreneur. And uh, from what he sent me, it seems like he'll have a lot to share with everybody. So welcome, Derek. Thank you. I appreciate it, Melissa. So share a little bit with us about you just starting in the real estate business. Yeah, most definitely. So my background in communications, relations, marketing. So have around in, in a few years, my housing business, my realtor. I kind of got in the field. I took it upon myself, kind of looking at the skills that I already have with the personality that I have and the communication skills that I have, as well as my marketing background. And I felt that it might be a field that would be pretty suitable for me. So I haven't even been in it that long. I already have a few clients um, already coming up on some closings later this month. So I would say that it's panning out for me fairly well. Uh, and I'm definitely excited and eager about it. So, yeah, that's kind of how I fell into it. What real estate agent did you say you ended up going with? I ended up signing on with the Exit Real Estate Gallery Broker. So that's who I'm currently with right now. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of them before. That's great. And that's awesome to hear that you already have some closings, um, you know, just starting out. That's really great. Right. <laughs> so you said. I've heard the years to get the job. Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying that um, you had said that you had some marketing background and like it kind of veered you to think of real estate. I was wondering how you made the connection of, of going into real estate from that. Well, in marketing, sometimes marketing is related a lot to sales sometimes, as well as marketing is all about branding and everything like that. And successful real estate industry marketing yourself and branding yourself and kind of getting your name out there, especially in this present day and age with social media and so much going on online for you to really get those leads and everything. So that's kind of how I made that correlation between my marketing skill set and kind of bringing that over to. to really that's true. That's probably really helped you in terms of like marketing yourself online. You already have those skills and and probably is helping how you got those leads so fast. Mm -hmm. And then I know that oh, yeah. when you had <laughs> sent your um, little yeah, bio, I, I was really surprised to see all the other things that you're going to be working on mm -hmm. and implementing. I'd love you to share more about each one. So I know that um, 
you were saying that one was a management services that you're, oh, yes. um, now is that something you're starting or you already mm -hmm. have been working on that? Um, I've just finished the filing for it. So I'm officially an LLC for that uh, recently. So that is called Richardson Management Services, uh, RMS is my last name. So pretty much going with that, it's a property management slash property concierge slash um, uh, cleaning service, I'm sorry, cleaning service as well. So it's going to be more so focused on like places like Airbnb, B&B and like those vacation rentals. So helping as far as marketing their property, the personal touches at those properties, trying to get those five star ratings. I know once we get past all this crazy stuff that's going on, a lot of people are going to be wanting to take trips. So I feel like I got a particular business right up. But there's going to be a lot of air owners looking up there going to have to compete with a lot of other properties because there's going to be so many people out there in the market trying to take vacations. But I think at this point we all need a vacation. So I think that I uh, started that business at the right time. Absolutely. So do you already have the website and everything ready to go to? So that, like I said, I just finished with the filing of it through the IRS to make it the official C. So now I'm working on um, the uh, contracts as far as contracts, getting insurance. You know, I want to have all that in line before you know stepping in anyone's property to let them know that everything is official, everything's on the up and up and, and professional. But right now I'm working on the branding of it. I actually this is one of my freelancing skills as well. I build a website, so I'm going to build my own website. I have that website up soon. Social media, uh, brand shirts, everything of that nature. So I'm going to make it a whole big thing. As soon as I get a work truck or work van, I'm going to get that wrapped with the logo and everything like that. So going all out for it. That's awesome. And then I'm not sure if you saw. I think you got the email where we were offering the three month free business directory listing um, with all this going on. So you can, um, if you want to list both your real estate and the proper property management um, on that directory to help get some more of the word out too. I'm already, I've already started working on that page. I saw that email. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And then we saw that also you're launching a nonprofit, Rich Kids Inc. Tell us more about that. So Rich Kids, oh yeah, most definitely. So Rich Kids Inc. is that I'm predicting launch hopefully early next year. So pretty much that's going to be a profit. It's gonna be all the things that you don't really like school that we should. So it's going to be four different pillars of financial literacy, career development, health and wellness, and education. So under those four different pillars will be different classes taught, different seminars taught. I'll be getting different professionals throughout the community. Volunteering sometimes to you. My audience more than likely will be between 10 and 19 year old. There's a lot of things that you need to know to be a good quality citizen that they don't necessarily teach you in high school. That I want to teach those kids, prepare them for to college or whatever it may be that they're trying to but can try and prepare them uh, their futures. I love that, and I don't know if you're aware that we're on right now. We are looking into doing a nonprofit called the Great Community Give Back, where we'll have an event for the community and we'll invite um, the nonprofits in and around North Florida to come set up a table and then we'll invite the community to come out that day and learn more about the nonprofits because I feel like a lot of people in the communities are always thinking they wanna get involved or they wanna donate but they don't know how or um, when and where to do it. So I thought if we bring it all in on one day, let the community come out, meet the different nonprofits and understand what they do, how they can help, um, and then through that program, we would also um, be giving back to other nonprofits locally. So we're right, we're right along with you with wanting to to do something. <laughs> yeah.
I'll definitely keep mind about that. Uh, a lot of volunteering community work period. A lot of it in my church is like this um, year that we did. Even every year, like we do uh, Christmas toy giveaway at the end of the year. Um, last year was our one. We were almost 200 toys. Gave out over 10 bikes, uh, game systems, everything. So, yeah, I love helping others. That's a passion of mine. That's awesome. Yeah. And for some reason, if you get the nonprofit started earlier or you don't even have to have it officially started, we're doing our event. I think it's November 22nd. It's a Sunday in the World Golf Village at the Renaissance Resort. But you're still you can still come out and have a table and share about what you're going to be doing, even if you don't have it literally set up yet if you wanted to. Oh, definitely. And with me being here, I can come up with some recommendations we kind of keep in mind so when it does come up, you know, they're ready. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely. And then um, I just couldn't believe the like the list of things and then launching the affordable daycare at your church. So one, where is your church located? And when do you think this program will be started? Uh, my church is located uh 2051 Ashley, which is off the highway, kind of off St. Augustine Road. Of course, once again, all this stuff has over again. Uh, we're just going to the church like a lot of people. But even if you wants to check it out, they go to the church base, uh, temple and that uh, every Sunday at 11 a.m. as well as Tuesday. But with the daycare, what I want to do, we're creating a daycare based on church. Um, thinking about calling it possibly Bethlehem's, Lord's Bethlehem, so Bethlehem babies. And with that, we want to act beyond what most daycares do. So I know a lot of daycares may close down around about six or seven or whatever it may be, but we want to extend those out to, in so many words, almost a 24 hour. So we want to do that, so we're offering you know mothers and other who run, you know unorthodox work schedule that may not nine to five, so therefore they will have someone caring for their kids, as well as know just how expensive daycare can be. Mm -hmm. So that not only source of income for the church, it's a lot cheaper than what daycares may be doing. So what we care about every definitely and. If you could step that one up, I'm sure right after everything is is done with what's going on with the virus and everything, and people will be scrambling to get back to work, and money is going to be tight. So, gosh, if you could open that in the fall, I bet a lot of people would be flocking to to that type of uh, help. Trust in, and we're working with the firm now to get everything in our lives in the world about it, but. By all means, if we can, before we were looking to open up early 2021, but like you said, with everything going on, if we can get it going here. That's definitely, I feel it. Like pushing it hard. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everything's like on hold. So it would have to be like once things pick back up, it'd have to be a rush to get it out. But I just know probably fall and then like even into next year, which we're, that's your timeline. I think you'll probably be inundated with people wanting to sign up and use that service. Oh yeah. Yep. I expect that. And then, so with all these ideas and obviously being an entrepreneur, have you been like that always, or is this something like, later in life that all these ideas have come to you? Um, I've always been a, a, a thinker, you know. Everyone has thoughts, but I don't think every thinker. I've always been a thinker. I'm always looking at ways of getting ahead and just kind of progressing in life and having some of my own. And, you know, I, I have no issue with, you know, going out and working for another company. Like that. But at the time, I feel like the tenor skills that you know, I've been blessed with. I don't want to just use those solely, just invest in someone else's dream, but I want to sell to myself. I want to invest into myself. I feel like 
biggest investment you can make is an investment into yourself. I'm not a huge gambler. You know, I, I might do a little gambling when I go on a cruise, a big cruise guy, but I'm not a huge gambler. <laughs> if I have to gamble on myself, I always take that gamble. Yeah, I definitely agree. So I was in the corporate world for like 14 years, but I was still doing events on the side. And then recently, um, just doing my own business 100%. And there's nothing like knowing you're in charge of everything, you growing it the way you want to. And I have just ideas all the time, like popping up in my head. I have lists everywhere of, you know, like, oh, I should try this or I should do this next. And it's just crazy once you get that that like thinking going on. There's all these ideas pop in. And and what's crazy, and that was one of the really motivating factors for me to really kind of get out there and, and push into some of these things. I was talking with my son one day, my father, he's uh, he's actually the pastor of our church, but he's getting ready to retire for a full time job. And we were having this discussion, he was just telling me, he was like, you know, I completely understand where we're coming from. Like, man, you know, I've been for other people. I was like 14, 15 years old. Like, man, at this point, I'm five. And that was just fascinating for me because I myself one day when I have kids of my own, I don't want to be sitting there having that conversation with them, telling them about how, because all my life, and investing myself in someone else, whatever it may be. And then when I walk away, the only thing I have to walk away is just some retirement check. <laughs> If it's even there, you know, things are changing so fast in our world that people who are working in corporate and hopefully they even get social security and the retirements. Like I have a, I still had the 401k from that business or the company I worked for for 14 years, but when it, the economy crashes, that thing just, you know, crashes right down with it. So it's still a crap shoot, even if, you know, when you're working for corporate. <laughs> Yeah, it's a gamble. Yeah, you just never know. So if, if all it is a gamble, yeah, I figure why not gamble on myself then? Absolutely. So is there anything that we haven't touched on that you would like people to know about you or any of your, uh, either the real estate or any of the upcoming business on, uh, ideas? Um, I, I believe we touched on most of this easy ways for anyone to kind of get in contact with me on my website is ee salesjacks.com as well as the facebook page for it too is is d sales jacks um and the id and everything for that will coming soon um, they can go there for any updates as far as like, with the richardson Minute services updated Freelancing, if anyone needs any freelancing services, marketing, public relations, I do all that as well. Um, the nonprofit, the affordable daycare, all that stuff, like updated throughout. And my personal Instagram, which is also ways to um, update. So that's D24. All right. Awesome. And then also, I think you sent me the links in an email after the live. I usually go and update the Facebook um, live with those links, too. Yeah, that's awesome. They can definitely get there. And then just my email address. So it's very kind. It's Eric, E-E-R-I-C-K, Richardson, at gmail.com. All right. Perfect. And um, if there's anything else you need or you want to um, do another interview in the future when some of these take off or you want to share about, you know, how like with the nonprofit and the daycare when they launch, we can definitely do another interview and, and speak more on those, too. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I would appreciate that. Well, thank you. It was really great hearing about all this interesting stuff. I love talking to other entrepreneurs and where they get their ideas and how many ideas and different things they come up with. It's, it's super interesting to me. So I thank you for your time and hopefully we will meet again and do something more together.
yeah, thank you. Good luck to out there on whatever it is that they're doing and everyone. There. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.